I want to bring to your attention some open source software that you may not be aware of but is incredibly useful if you're a student or a researcher. Now normally I focus on finance tutorials but I want to uh, take a little turn here in this video and show you this piece of software. So it's called Zotero and it's a essentially a reference database management system. It helps you collect references, it allows you to create bibliographies, so it's incredibly useful. In fact, at my university, we used to subscribe to some other uh, type of reference management system, but then someone found this for free, and so we stopped subscribing, and it essentially does the same thing. So the first thing you want to do is go to zotero.org, Z-O-T-E-R-O.org, and click download, and you can download um, a version of this. Okay, I can click the download, and it gives you choices um, for Windows. I happen to be in a Windows computer, but they also have it for uh, Mac and Linux, I believe, as well. And you can also install a connector that will connect to your browser, which is incredibly useful. So once you've downloaded it and installed it, you'll create an account and um, that you can log into. In fact, up here you see um, that you can log, well actually I'm logged into something, log in, log out. And you also get some software on your computer. And the beauty of this is that if you save references on a different computer, you'll find it, it'll all get saved and downloaded to, you know, every version you have installed. So you don't have to worry, you know, I'm doing research and I'm using a school uh, computer and I'm saving these references. Well, if you log into your account, they'll all be saved to your Zotero account. And you can see here, I've got a bunch of folders with all kinds of things in it. Papers I'm working on, courses I've taught, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can create folders and let's just create a new collection and there are a lot of things I don't even know about it but here are some of the basics. Let's create a new collection and we'll call it Zotero Test. I click OK and there's a little folder here. And you can see right now I'm in the Zotero folder and what can I do with this? Well, say I go to Amazon and let's say I'm looking up a book and I look up a book uh, by Richard Thaler, the uh, noted um, behavioral economist. So he has a new book out here, um, Nudge, the final edition. Very good. I read the first edition. I read the second one. All right, and let's say we want the hardcover version. You want to save this as a reference? If you look up here, right here, you can see, and there's all that money-saving stuff. But up here, I've installed this um, thing to my browser, and when I click it on, or when I moved up to it, it actually said save to Zotero. So I'm going to click, and I have it, uh, since I'm the Zotero test folder is open, it saved the information there. So let me go back to uh, Zotero and you can see it's here and it gives you the information, right? The publisher, the date, the number of pages, right? If you click it on, it'll take you to the site where you got it from. So you can save this, you know, book reference and let me find some other stuff. So here I happen to um, be in my university's library system and I'm looking for articles and I just happen to type in capital budgeting so let's see oh, here's a paper by Ivan Brick and Dan Weaver I actually know who those guys are and um, you know just by coincidence so here's the article and again I want to save it so I'm gonna click on up here and they give you slightly different icons depending on where you are and I'm gonna click that and that is also saved to Zotero test now here's the beauty of it again all the information you need to do a reference let me click this on here it even saves the PDF for you so that's terrific I mean 
you know you don't have to remember where the PDF is sometimes you don't even want to print it off you just want to have a copy of it somewhere let me do one more thing let me go to uh, a YouTube video I created you can save this information as well so you can click this on and it'll save it saving it to uh, I don't want to save it to test I want it to save it to uh, I don't have tests there anymore um, but you can save this to a different let me see if I can type can I type that in can't seem to let me see oh here here we go I'm gonna scroll down and I have oh, I did this before I created this so let me go to a different video maybe that'll help all right let me go to another recent video I'm just gonna pause that and see if I can save that one. Oh, there we go Zotero test so it's gonna save it to there and here I have this video and if I don't remember where it is it'll just take me to the link which is just great but here's what's really useful so I have these two references okay a journal article and a book and if I need to type a bibliography there's no reason to type it I can just highlight it I'm gonna right click the mouse I'm gonna click create um, bibliography from items now I have a choice of bibliography or citations and I have a choice of some different formats to use American Psychological Association Chicago Manual of Style etc so I'll just use the American Psychological Association I'm going to click OK now it's actually um, saved so I can paste it so I'm going to go to a blank document here and I'm just going to paste it in paste and there you have it now you have to do a little bit of formatting perhaps to get it exactly as you want it for your article but that will this will save you an enormous amount of time you'll be able to create folders for research papers you're doing in different classes or research topics you're doing and um, it's really handy you know it saves the PDF so I hope you find this um, helpful